Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, humanoids of all descriptions, welcome to the channel. I'm Cap, this is my place, and this is Spaghetti Sauce Part 2. Alright, we're back. The first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to take these two cloves of garlic and the onion, and I'm going to put them in the food processor. I'm going to take the onion, I'm going to cut the ends off of it, and I'm going to cut it in quarters. I'm going to spare your ears and your speakers. I'm going to turn the camera off while the food processor runs. And we're back. At this point, your onions and garlic look like this. Yeah. A little move over to the left here. The next thing we need is olive oil. I'm going to put this olive oil in here. I'm going to use just enough that when we throw the, olive, the onions and the garlic in, it will just keep all of them wet and in, out of contact, dry contact, with the bottom of the pot. Turn your burner on high, and go ahead and keep an eye on the oil, and when you can see the oil start to thin out, that's when it's time to turn the heat down and pour in the onions and the garlic. You don't want to use so much heat that you begin to brown the onions. You just want to sweat them a little bit. And we're approaching the right temperature. The surface of the oil is starting to ripple a little bit. And that should be about right. Go ahead and take your spatula. Make sure the onions are spread out, not real nice. So everything gets a little bit of heat. And once they start to sizzle a little bit, we'll give it a couple more seconds and then we're going to pour in our puree. At this point, I'm going to go over to the sink. About a half a can full of water. And I'm going to pour this back and forth between the cans. And get as much puree out of the cans as I can. There we go. this to our small burner back here. One bay leaf. The bay leaf adds flavor. However, although the bay leaf is in its juice is safe for you to consume, when you jar your sauce or you do your serving, don't eat the bay leaf. It's not going to feel good going down. There's the rest of our dry ingredients. Basil. I like sugar cubes. 
two cubes, salt, as I said earlier, black pepper is negotiable. If you don't want to put it in, don't. For a pot of, so pot of sauce about this size, that's about right. At this point, your wooden spoon comes into play. You're going to stir everything up until there are no clumps of dry ingredients on the surface. And you don't see any clumps of onion coming to the surface while you're stirring either. Make sure nothing's sticking. We've got our small burner turned all the way down. And as soon as I've decided that I'm ready to stop stirring this, I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to shut you guys off and I'm going to come back every five minutes or so. Stir this up. I'll bring this up so you can get a look at it. And I'm going to do that about every five minutes. I'm going to do that probably give this about 40 minutes total to simmer. While this is going on, my jars are going in the dishwasher. If you have a dishwasher, this is when you want to use it. You're going to put the jars in on high a uh, sandy rinse cycle so they're nice and hot and you can get a good seal when you pull them out, when you pull the sauce out and you put it in the jar. And I'll be back in about 40 minutes. And we're back. It's time to turn the heat off and put our sauce in the jar. I've taken the jars out of the dish machine. They're good and hot, which is going to help us get a good seal. If you're going to have a mess, this is when it's going to happen. So, at this point, you're going to need your ladle and your spatula plus your funnel. My lids are handy back here where I can reach them. And there we go, we have sauce. So we're going to fill these jars, maybe I have a bay leaf in there, there we go, once this jar is full, we're going to put it in the fridge. This doesn't have to be kept in the fridge because as this cools, the jar is going to seal just as tightly as the stuff you buy off the shelf at the grocery store. And there we go. The jar is full right up into the neck. I like to keep my sauce in the fridge, not because it needs to again, but because the full fridge is more efficient, it's only cooling the air, remember, not the items that are in the fridge. Because the fridge pumps less air around, it's more efficient. We're gonna rotate our stock and put it behind the stuff we've already made. And that's it. I'm going to finish filling the rest of those jars 
and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.